Welcome into a quick video where I'll be Cerakote refinishing a SIG MCX receiver set. All the prep work and cleaning is already done, there's not much to see with that, it's pretty boring so I figured I wouldn't bother filming any of that. The first color I'm spraying is gloss black. This will be the color that's mostly seen on the insides of the receivers and will be the lines in the main pattern. And yeah, I am very much taller than the rack that I currently use to hang and spray parts on. So I usually have to get down to the parts level so that I can actually see what I'm doing while I'm spraying things. And with the gloss black, I'm just trying to make sure I get good coat on the inside and all the crevices of the receivers and get a good couple solid coats on the outside of everything. I'm using a big Cryptek pattern on this set, which will also give it a bit of a snakeskin look, which should match the theme of an MCX Rattler pretty well. I find the brass deflector area is always very annoying when using big stencils like this. It's this huge piece just jutting out the side of the receiver and it loves to cause problems for me. Sometimes you just gotta stretch the vinyl a bit, press it into place a few times just to try to get it right. Fortunately, the left side is much easier to deal with. These receivers have some interesting contours here and there, but nothing enough to mess with the stencil. The areas where the stencils meet up take a bit of thought to match up the two sides so they look halfway decent there isn't some obvious seam. The stencil on the handguard is pretty easy though and the M-lock holes at the bottom make matching the two sides quite a bit easier. The main color being used for this pattern is tungsten, which is a pretty popular color. And when I'm spraying these receivers, I like to keep them together as much as I can. And as I'm spraying this color, I'm just going for some quick light coats, because at this point we're just looking for color coverage. After all the color work is done, I take the stencils off before the full bake cycle. The worst part of peeling stencils is having to hold and stabilize metal parts that just come out of an oven at 175 degrees. Pretty toasty on the fingers. But if you're one of those kids that always picked at their sunburns, this is kind of the best part. And the final product. If you want to see any more work that I've done, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at atgunworks.llc. And thanks for watching.